533 did not show. 534 was 18th and 4th junior. 535 was second in the class. Mer Merrily Reality Malini E.T. exhibited by Brady McConnell from Whitewater, Wisconsin. 536 was our class winner, Old and Lazy Gentle Wipeout E.T. exhibited by Peter Vale, Mike and Lisa Hillenbrand, and Frank and Diane Borba from Cross Plains, Wisconsin. 537 was a no-show. 538 was the third place class winner, Hovercrest Scarlet E.T. exhibited by Isabel Boer from Walkersville, Maryland. 539 was 13th, 540 was 12th, 541 was 14th and 3rd junior, 542 was 15th, 543 was 9th, 544 was 6th, 545 was 17th, 546 was 7th, 547 was 11th, and second junior, and that was Tollgate Double Whammy Spice, exhibited by Megan Davenport from Litchfield, Connecticut. 548 was 16th, 549 was 10th, and 550 was fifth in the class and best bred and owned, and that was MJH Double Whammy Piper ET, exhibited by Mike and Julie Hemp from Beaverville, Illinois. In the ring now is the Ayrshire Winter Yearling class, our first place award is presented by Clover Knoll Farm, the Milnes family from Morrison, Illinois. And the junior award is presented by Seven Oaks Dairy, the Hazeltine family from Janesville, Wisconsin. If you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein Show ring, judges completed his placings in our Fall Yearling Heifer class. Winning the Junior Bread Known Award is entry number 203, Herb Acres Atwood Sabrina, exhibited by Peyton Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Placing third in the class is entry 210, Bruinsdale Goldship Pine Sap, exhibited by Dawson Nichols of Watertown, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class is entry 208, PA A Plus Luxury, exhibited by Lily Mae Ansel of Renfrew, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry 219, Strands Home Barbed Wire Emmy, exhibited by Bradley and Ella Miller of Lewiston, Minnesota. Congratulations. Judge Harbaugh, your comments. Well, again, a really nice class of heifers. And that being said, a pretty logical heifer to win the class. A heifer that just excels the class in length of frame, straightness of lines. A heifer that has that big, deep, open rib structure to her and has so much width out through her hooks, pins, and thurls. And it's that advantage she has in being a little longer out through her head and neck today, a little longer through her midsection, and that added width out through her hooks, pins, and thurls that take her over a beautifully balanced heifer we have coming along in second. Second and third for me, the close placing in the class gave some consideration to switching these two heifers. But when you get in front of them, I think the second heifer shows me just a bit more width through the floor of her chest today, just a little more style throughout than a beautifully balanced heifer coming here in third. This white heifer, for me, the advantage today, just a little stronger in her pastern, deeper in her toe, or deeper in her heel and shorter in her toe today than the really silky black heifer we have coming along in fourth. This third heifer also shows us so much more spring to her rib when you get these two heifers in line. And then fourth over fifth for me, she just has a bit more breed character up through her head and neck today, just a little more feminine throughout, just a little cleaner right down through the molding of her hock today than the big powerful heifer coming along in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the heifer that just has that added length and extension to her frame, a heifer that has more mass and, and more depth through her midsection today than the heifer in sixth. But again, a, a really nice class on the top handful. Congratulations to our exhibitors.